Welcome to our lecture online. Now we're getting into a new topic when we're dealing with lines and it's also a very important topic. It's called the slope of a line. So the question may come up and say, well, what is the slope of a line? And it turns out the slope of a line represents a ratio. A ratio of what? Well, it represents a ratio of the change in the horizontal direction relative to the change in the vertical direction. And, and actually, it's the ratio of the change in the vertical direction divided by the change in the horizontal direction. So the change in the vertical direction is on top, the numerator, and the change in the horizontal direction is in the denominator. That ratio defines the slope. Now notice that here we have one line, and by definition, when we try to determine the change in the vertical direction and change in the horizontal direction, we must travel from a point on the line to another point on the line, but that second point must lie to the right of the first point. Which means that whenever we calculate the horizontal change, that horizontal change will always be positive because when we travel from the left to the right on the number line or on the x-axis, we always travel from a smaller number to a bigger number. So the change is always positive in the horizontal direction by definition because we must travel from a point on the left to a point on the right. But the change in the vertical direction can either be positive or negative. If the line is sloped like this, you can see that we then must go upward to that second point, so our vertical change is a positive change. But if our line is sloped like this, then we must go down to get to the second point in the vertical direction. We call that a negative change. So a line that slopes like this has a positive slope. A line that, shows that slopes like this has a negative slope. Of course, a line that is neither going up or down, if the line is perfectly horizontal, then there is no slope. We call that the zero slope because there is no change in the vertical direction, so in the numerator we end up with a zero. But what we need to understand here is that it's simply a ratio. When we travel from one point on the line to a second point on the line, which is to the right of the first point, there will be a change in the horizontal direction and there will be a change in the vertical direction provided that the slope is not zero, and then we can define the slope as being the ratio of how much change there is in the vertical, in the vertical direction compared to how much change there is in the horizontal direction. For example, here we can see that the slope, if we then take two points on the line, we can see that for a very large change in the horizontal direction, there is only a very small change in the vertical direction, so we have a very small slope. On the other hand, when we have a line that's like this, and we pick two points on the line, the second point, so you can see that for a relatively small change in the horizontal direction, we have a very large change in the vertical direction, so in this case, the slope is large. So this is a large positive slope, this is a relatively small positive slope, this would be, of course, a no change in the slope, so there's no, slo no change in the vertical direction, so there's, there's a no slope, slope would be zero, and then of course like this we have what we call a negative slope. And that's by definition, whoa, somebody's coming, coming in and so the dogs are all excited. But anyway, so that's what we mean by the slope of a line. 